Today we're going to be doing a top shot splicing knot. This is predominantly used on game fishing setups where we're splicing in our monofilament fishing line into our Power Pro Holloway Braid. Alright, let's get started. So we're going to put this rod in our rod holder over here. It's a little bit out of the way. Uh, the tools that we're going to need for this uh, is a razor blade, a good pair of braid cutters, a PR bobbin, a lighter, and then a uh, splicing needle that's going to match um, our monofilament. Right, to start the splice, we need to insert the mono into our hollow splicing needle. And to do this, what we need to do is we put a taper on the end of the mono, and then we can force the uh, braid into the needle. I like to have the smallest possible needle I can, and I, I actually force that um, taper cut into it. Uh, it won't go all the way into the needle, but what that does is it makes it a really smooth transition, so that means I can have the smallest possible needle. We can now insert the needle into our hollow braid, and to do this with this type of knot that we're doing, uh, we start about 80 centimetres in, so we have an 80 centimetre tag line on our uh, hollow braid, and that's where we can actually start the, the first transition of putting our needle inside uh, the uh, Power Pro Holloways. So once we've inserted the needle, we're going to push that needle up inside the Power Pro Holloways for two metres. So we want to have that uh, mono up inside the Power Pro Holloways for two metres. So it's a two metre long splice. So we just carefully pull the braid over the needle, not forcing the needle into the braid. It seems to be the uh, the secret to getting a, um, a nice sort of even, um, you know, when you a splice on pushing it up there and so it doesn't damage the braid at all. So just gently pulling the braid over top of the needle and then pulling it back down nice and carefully so we don't disrupt the or pull the uh, mono out of the needle. Great thing about the Power Pro Hollow Ace is it's uh, the makeup of it, it's really, really easy to splice. It's got sort of a, almost like a waxy layer and it, it holds its shape a lot easier, making splicing a lot easier as well. There you go, so once you get it through one to two metres, you can then pull the needle out, pull the needle off the mono, and you just push that uh, power pro hollow ice over top of it, flatten that all out, and that's the, uh, the, the transition there with the, uh, your mono inside the uh, power pro hollow ice. You can now get your fingers and pull the braid back down nice and tight over top. So now we've got our mono is up two metres inside our Power Pro Holloways. So we now need to whip up the end to prevent the, the uh, hollow braid moving over top of the mono. So we have this uh, 80 centimetre tag end that we're going to whip up um, over top of this to prevent um, our splice moving and making it all secure. I like to wind the line back onto the reel so it's actually um, something firm to work with and that keeps the line nice and tight. To start this whipping at the uh, end of the braid, we use the tag end and we make one half inch over the mono line. And what this does is this just locks it off and prevents it slipping. So to do the uh, whipping on the end, we use the Shimano PR bobbin. Um, it makes a really nice job and gets it up nice and tight and actually makes it almost bite into the uh, mono, um, making for a very secure connection. So we just thread the tag end of the Power Pro Hollow Ace uh, into the bobbin. And the great thing about this, uh, the Shimano PR bobbin, is it has the O-rings which grip onto the line. And it has a drag um, setting on the side of it, so you can control how much pressure you're putting uh, on the bobbin. Uh, to ensure that you get the tightest uh, whipping that you can. So we wind up to about 50 millimetres and then 
we go a loose wind back down over top of where the uh, Palpro hollow ace is on top of the mono and then this is how we start our splice by just getting it started gripping it with your finger and then working it all the way back down over top of the loose wind and then all the way back down over the, uh, the monofilament Now we're going back down over the mono. I like to make it about 80 mils long, this knot. And you can see there how tight it is. And then it's also very, very tight coming back down over the mono. So there's no way that that splice can now slip. It's nice and streamlined and, um, and very, very, very secure. And to finish this off, I pull a little bit of extra line off our spool. We can then put it over top and do another half hitch to lock it off and then we're going to do an alternate half hitch we're going to come in from underneath with the spool um, the, the PR bobbin spool still attached and then we're going to pull that nice and tight as well Got a bit of a pull there so it's all locked off the great thing is to, to keep the tag end actually on the PR bobbin because it actually it works as a tensioner. You can actually hold it, it makes it a lot easier, you can get more tension. We're now going to use the finishing knot to finish this off so we know that that, that line isn't going to come undone. So what we do is put it over top of the monofilament. We're then going to wrap it around five times. Two, three, four, five. We're going to pull it up. And then we're going to carefully get that uh, the, the braided tag line there and wind it back over itself. And as we're winding it back over itself, it's unraveling at this other end. So it's sort of going, basically forming a nice um, loop over itself uh, for this finishing knot over there. And then we can just pull that tag end through. Put our fingers around there and then put a lot of tension on there and pull it up nice and tight and cut the tag end off and then I like to carefully just put a little bit of slack line through there so we can fold that over so we can keep the, the mono and the braid away from the flame and carefully burn the tag end and uh, give it a bit of a push there so it mushrooms up around the, the uh, braid. So there you go, that's the top shot splicing knot. Uh, we've spliced it two metres inside the Power Pro Hollow Ace and we've got a really nice smooth transition at the end there which we've used the tag line of the Power Pro Hollow Ace to make it to whip it up. Um, it can't come undone and like I say, it's a very nice smooth transition going on and off the reel. Super strong, there you go. Top shot splicing knot.